Well, I didn't see you there. Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's recipe video. Today we are going to show you something straight out of the bayou. And this burger is made out of crawdad tails, jalapeno poppers, guacamole. If that sounds good, stay tuned and I'll see you in a minute. Welcome to a Whitfield's Food Review Original, The Swamp Burger. Since we're only making two sandwiches, we only need two poppers, and you get two poppers per one jalapeno. That's a lot of peas. P Slice it down the middle and remove those seeds with a spoon. If you like it spicy, leave a few of those seeds, but you can't leave too many because you need some room for that filling. And in this case, it's cream cheese and cheddar. For this, you're going to need two avocados, not three, not one. Why? Well, that's what the mix called for. So slice your avocados right down the middle, like this. And then whack that pit with the knife. Pull it out, voila. Take a spoon, scoop out the entire avocado. If it's nice and ripe, it should come out like this. If it's too ripe, it's gonna be mushy. But it's gonna become mushy anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's just prettier this way, see? Add your avocado to a bowl, then the mix. If you wanna know how to make a killer guacamole from scratch, check out our Taco Bell copycat recipe of their rolled tacos, and we show you how to make it from scratch. That's killer. But in this case, we already make it a lot of stuff, so we just made it this way. You can mash this down with your hand. You can mash this down with a mallet. We are using the wand because we want it to be extra thick and creamy. So it acts almost like an adhesive on a burger and doesn't fall off. Now here's your crayfish, crawfish, crawdaddies, whatever you want to call them, lobsters of the swamp. Doesn't matter, but you're going to want to get all that moisture out of them. Now these are pre-cooked. If you get some of them, they might not be. You might have to boil them, but I would just suggest getting them cooked. But you got to get all that moisture out because if you don't, it's going to leak out once you start cooking it and you're going to have a swampy burger. And I know that's what it's called, but in this case, you actually don't want that. Ingredient time. Two tablespoons of mayo. Half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Half a teaspoon of hot sauce, preferably Louisiana. One tablespoon minced garlic. One teaspoon, the Cajun seasoning of your choice. One fourth a teaspoon, celery salt. Just this little handful of angel hair cabbage, it'll give it some crunch. And now for the super deep South Bayou Swamp secret ingredient, saltines. You're gonna need these. These bad boys, about 10 of them, will soak up a lot of that moisture. And then for texture, two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. And then the glue. One big old beautiful egg that's gonna hold this swampy creation together. You need to make sure all those dry ingredients are touched by the egg. Touched by the egg? Coming to CBS this fall. But seriously, you need to make sure this is nice and sticky and tacky, otherwise when you go to make your patty and you flop it down in your pan or your griddle or whatever you're cooking this on, it's gonna fall apart. Now these little beautiful Bayou cakes were about half inch thick each and I cooked them at 375 for four and a half minutes her side. Now be very careful when you flip these because they can fall apart very easily. Use your hand if you can, but don't burn it. I burnt my hand, but it's okay. It's worth it. Once removed, set aside. Use your hot pan or griddle to toast your buns. <laughs> buns. Super fast, super easy, jalapeno popper filling, cream cheese, little bit of cheddar cheese, and the uh, mix. For this part, you will need a wet station and a dry station. For the wet station, you will need one egg whipped. For the dry station, you're going to need half a cup of breadcrumbs and half a cup of flour and a full tablespoon 
of that Cajun seasoning. In this case, we're actually mixing it up. We're having a Florida local Cajun seasoning that's amazing, but you can use whatever you like. Now take that cream cheese filling and fill those jalapenos up that we cut earlier all the way to the top and now square it off, kind of like you're cocking. Yeah, like that. So for this technique, you go to the dry, then to the egg, then to the dry, then to the egg, and then to the dry. This gives nice full coverage because these jalapenos tend to be a little waxy and the breading can fall right off. Now a way around that is if you really want to beforehand, you boil these jalapenos, you blanch them, and then you peel the skin off and then this stuff sticks to it much better. But a lot of people are like, Nick, I'm not gonna do that. So if you don't feel like doing that, this is the way you can do this without doing that. We are using Louisiana style peanut oil for this fry. Get your oil to 365 degrees. Hold your poppers just so the tips into the oil. That way it can aerate a little bit and you make sure it floats, doesn't immediately sink to the bottom of a basket and get stuck, cause that sucks. And watch your fingers, because I burnt myself. Uh, and I don't want you to burn yourself. I fry these poppers three minutes, let them sit for one, put them back in for three more golden delicious. Now it's time to build this aquatic monstrosity. I'll be quiet, let the music swell. See you on the other side. There you have it folks, the genuine bona fide original Whitfield's food review recipe. This is the craw dad tail swamp burger. Bacon cheddar mac salad that we got from Walmart. Jalapeno popper filled with cheddar cheese and cream cheese. Dill mustard, some homemade guacamole, thin sliced maters, diced white onion. Of course your craw dad burger with some more of that dill mustard on it. All this on a sesame seed bun. Mmm, straight out of the swamp. Here you go guys, this is the genuine bona fide swamp burger. Oh god, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. I think I ate the whole damn popper with that bite. That's hot. Mmm. <laughs> That's so good. That bite, that got everything in it. If you never had crawdad tails before, they're a little swampy, they're a little fishy, but not that much. And when you mix it in with all those seasonings and all the breading and all the stuff, fry it up like a patty, it really takes on kind of its own consistency and own flavor. So it really is like a burger form. I don't think someone would right off the bat know this was necessarily a seafood burger. Really, mm, kick of that popper, which I gotta tell you, the popper's amazing. I've never had a jalapeno popper and guacamole, and it works. I mean, I could've just eaten that, to be honest with you. This whole thing, and then you get that crunch, the onion with that little zing in there, and then you can taste the hot sauce in there, you can taste everything, that dill mustard's perfect. This is a damn fine little burger, or gigantic burger. You know what Jen's gonna say? Just fork it. Yep, just fork she it. She can just fork it because she can't eat the whole thing. Of course, due to Jen's braces, she can't take a big girl bite. To be honest with you though, even if you didn't have the braces, I'm not sure if you could. I couldn't have done that. So Jen's got a little bit of everything. Mm hmm. Hey, the jalapeno. The jalapeno's good too, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm still eating, guys. It just adds like some extra something. Spice. Some, what's the seasoning you put in there? Yeah, we use the local seasoning. We use the last of the, this local seasoning we have. It's this uh, hot clove garlic company. This is the chipotle one, and we also used another pepper one. And that stuff is good. Just use some kind of, just use some kind of uh, Creole seasoning. Open her in the head. You're right. It doesn't taste that seafoody. It really doesn't. The the accent of the dill mustard and that cream cheese and the spice and the jalapeno, mm -hmm. it just makes this like melange. Hi. Thumbs up. 
So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this Whitfield Food Review original recipe. I mean, I know there are gonna be a lot of people who are like, I ain't doing that. Feeling adventurous and you wanna try something damn tasty and something different. We got that crawfish meat for seven bucks at Walmart, a big old bag of it. And it, that's exactly what we use. So it's not, it's about as expensive as some good ground beef. We're gonna do a lot more of these recipes, especially when you think of something really interesting. This, I thought the idea of just a swamp burger sounded really cool. We live in a swamp, so it worked for us. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe button if you haven't already. Tell your friends all about it. Share with your friends. We really appreciate it. That it helps us with the channel. Because YouTube doesn't like to notify people, so please hit that little bell down here, that little notification, and they might let you know, and they probably won't. But anyway, guys, so thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff that the YouTubers tell you to do, because I think that's what you're just supposed to do, and we're copycatting them. Put your words in the form sentences down below, and then we can communicate that way. That's how it oh, works. We didn't copycat the recipe. I know we didn't copycat, but we usually copycat. <laughs> So anyway guys, thanks for watching and until next time. Bye.